do 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 Hey, how's it going? It's Nancy Gammon. Do you have something you'd like to expose? Let people see through the layers of your clothes? Watch how we make pretty bound holes. I'm starting with a little dress that I dyed and uh, the outside is cute, but what I really loved about it was this purple underskirt or slip part of the dress. And I had originally thought that by dyeing it two different colors, the purple would be visible through the little holes in the eyelet, but the holes really were too small and so you don't get the effect of that pretty purple. So I wanna create some openings in the, the green skirt so that you can see through and expose some of this uh, pretty purple fabric that's underneath. And this technique for making bound holes was taught to me by my friend Holly Cratch. I'm pretty sure she learned it at a workshop someplace, but I'm afraid I don't know who the teacher was. So what I'm going to do is I've cut out some colorful shapes of other dyed fabrics that are going to create the borders of the holes along the hem. And on the other side, I've drawn the shape of the hole that I want to use. And I've just created a template out of a piece of cardboard and traced around it to create this shape. So I'm going to work from the wrong side of the skirt and put those patches on the underneath side to get started. So I'm just going to slip a cutting mat here in between the layers to make sure that I don't pin through anything accidentally. And then I'm going to put my first shape, I'm putting it right side down. So both the skirt is wrong side up and the shape is wrong side up. And I'm just going to pin it in place. And I'm going to pin all three of the shapes in place where I'd like for them to be on the skirt. And then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew exactly on the drawn line that I have. And once I get that done, I'll be back with you to show you the next step. In each of the shapes, I've straight stitched exactly along the line that I've drawn to form the shape that I want to cut out in the center. And now I'm just going to snip out the fabric that is in the middle of each shape to create the opening. I'm cutting about a quarter of an inch from the line that I've stitched. And once I have that hole cut, I'm going to make little snips around the edge so that when I turn it right side out, the curved shape will smooth out more easily. So there's the snipped shape. And now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut towards the seam or towards the stitching line, but not through it, about every quarter of an inch or so. And once I've gone all the way around, the fabric will be ready to turn right side out to the right side um, and it will form this colorful binding around the edge of the hole. So after I have each hole snipped, I'll turn them and then press them so that it makes a nice smooth oval and then I'll take it to the sewing machine and stitch close around the opening and then also some concentric circles and then I'll zigzag really close along the edge to finish it. And it will create a little peekaboo hole that the purple fabric will show through. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those steps and then I'll get back with you to show you the final result. 
Here are the three finished holes. I've turned the pink fabric to the right side of the garment and stitched along the edge and, uh, and around the outside edge as well. And so now they've created these bound holes or little windows so that you can see the lining of the skirt. And here's what they look like from the inside. There's just this neat bound edge and the decorative stitching. Whether you are a dad or a mom, head on over to nancygammon.com. If you'd like to redo your tops, check out my current list of workshops. Do 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 do